In this video, I'll demonstrate how to convert exam view questions to Moodle. The problem I had about a year ago is I attended a uh, conference where I learned how to do this exact task, but unfortunately it turned out to be uh, quite difficult. There were a number of steps and it just uh, seemed like there must be an easier way. And so what I did was I posed this question to um, a Moodle forum, and so it's the forum that I'm showing you right here. You can see the link at the top there if you want to try and access uh, that link you can. And, and what I just asked them, was there an easier way to do this? And lo and behold, there was. It turns out that if you install a uh, plugin, so I asked my district administrator to install a plugin. We were using Moodle 1.9. Um, my district administrator put the plugin, and uh, after that was in, we were good to go. And so it made the transition um, from exam view to Moodle that much easier. I use a bunch of uh, questions that I had converted into exam view, and I also use some exam view uh, databases, and so uh, this made this uh, much nicer. So anyways, you may want to reference that, uh, that link that I have there at the top. So if I go back to exam view, I'll go and show you how I convert to, uh, to Moodle. So the first thing that you do is if you look, I've created a, a quiz just with three questions. So let's say we want to move those into Moodle. Perhaps you're making a, a quiz in Moodle or you're putting these questions towards a, a database. That's uh, what I normally did. You're going to go down here to export and then you will put it into Blackboard 6, 7. And once you do that, it's going to bring up um, a way for you to save it. You will save it. I'll call this one sample quiz. And I will hit save. And then once you do this, it's going to um, create a, uh, a zip file for you. And when you do this, uh, in this next save part, I will name it also sample quiz. And then when you scroll down here to where it says image directory, um, call this one the same thing, sample quiz. And then a little tip that I heard was then call this pics. Because what this is going to reference is the pictures that you're bringing in. So for instance, since I'm doing um, questions that involve these little kind of math pictures right here, um, it'll allow Moodle to reference these nicely. And so it'll export the test, and then if you look, it should appear on your desktop. And so now what I will do is I will head over to our Moodle site. All right, so this is what my Moodle site looks like. I'll go into one of my courses right here, and I'll show you how I import these in. So if I come down here to questions, and you'll notice that I already have quite a few questions in there. What I created was I created a folder that I called the at the very top here my import folder. And so this is how I always bring them in. And then once I bring them into Moodle, I can go and put them wherever I want. So once I'm in that import folder, I'll click on import right here. And then you'll notice yours may look a little bit different than mine right away, but this exam view, Blackboard 6.0. Uh, X is that plugin I was referencing that I installed. And once that's in, it makes this transition quite seamless. So if I scroll down here, uh, these are some settings that I would suggest you, um, you pick. I have to be honest, I'm not really sure why I pick these ones, but they just work for me. So when it, sits, when it says uh, get file or get category file, um, you can deselect that one. Click it onto nearest grade if not listed and then stop on error, you can hit no. Okay. I will go to my desktop here and try and select the file. Sample quiz, there it is. And it says a zip file you'll see. You'll just hit open. And then you'll say upload this file. And then it'll take a couple seconds depending on how many uh, questions you have. I only had to import three. And then you hit continue right here, and then those questions are in your data bank. So if you take a look right here, remember I said it was going to go to that import file. It did. And if I click on one of the magnifying glass, you'll see that this should have turned into a multiple choice Moodle question. So for instance, this one's asking to determine the non-personal values of the variables for this rational expression. The answer is plus or minus three, and you'll see that this is active if I hit submit it'll tell me that that is the right answer. Whereas if I had chosen one of these ones, it'll tell me that, come on, it was incorrect. So that's an easy way to uh, move it into uh, Moodle. Um, the big thing was that I contacted my district administrator and I got them to give me that plugin. That plugin is specifically for Moodle 1.9, although there are other plugins that you can get to move from exam view to Moodle.